This morning, as I approached my sunroom and raised the blinds, I happened to look across the street. I saw how foolish can we be as Americans. I know some people just don't think about it, so it's not a particular gripe against the neighbor. But we take so much for granted in this country, and we waste so much. What did I see? I saw a great big, huge six miles per gallon diesel delivery truck unload two bottles of water and deliver them to the front porch. You say, so? They're getting fresh water. Yeah, so, think about this. If you look back and trace the history of this thing, I don't know where you'd start. Do you start with the fuel delivery? As it's being delivered to the various petroleum depots around the country to supply fuel oil to this delivery truck? Or, or would you prefer to go back to the plant that makes the bottles and how much energy they're using? Or then there's the bottling plant. You know, that doesn't come free. A bottling plant uses thousands, if not tens of thousands of kilowatts of energy just to bottle water. You already have water in your home. It's coming out of your tap. Oh, you say, well, I want good, clean, fresh water. This is where my point comes in. It's available. And for probably less, if not the same price, than it is to have it delivered. What do you need to do? Do what I did. I got an osmosis device. Yeah, it looks complicated at first and, oh, it's too full for under the sink. That's not a problem because I put mine in the basement. Drilled a little tiny hole, ran a plastic tubing up. There's nothing under my kitchen sink. The basement wall wasn't, it's just there. Why not use it to hang the osmosis device? Yeah, they're not that cheap. They're $295. But how much do you spend for water? And while you're saving that money, Look at what you're doing to help the environment. Look at the dumps. Most plastic bottles wind up in the dump. Oh no, we recycle them. Okay, here's a recycling plant. Look at that mess. A and how many tens of thousands of kilowatts are we burning up to recycle that nice little plastic bottle that <laughs> doesn't have to be wasted in the first place? If you're going to use a plastic bottle, why not just save them? Refill them like I do from the osmosis device. But here's something to think about too. While you're putting it in a plastic bottle, there's always that fear of carcinogenics with plastic. Nice clean glass, no carcinogenic values there. And I'm going to use that glass over and over a million times. You know, everything does take energy, whether it's the delivery truck, the plant, or you're going to wind up with putting millions of these things on the dump and having bulldozers and diesel equipment there consuming very valuable resource, petroleum. It just seems silly to me. When you can get an osmosis device for under 300 bucks, hanging on the wall, I've had it there for years, it's like zero maintenance, and you even get a little test kit usually. It's just a simple little, looks like a battery thermometer, you stick it in the water, and my city water that comes in here is over 200 and some parts. And when you test it with the tester, after it's come through the osmosis device, it's usually less than 30 parts per million. That's clean. And remember, osmosis is what the astronauts use to go to the moon. They recycled their own urine. Whole countries have no water supply. They use osmosis devices to take the ocean water and make fresh water. Ships at sea, you go on a cruise, they're using osmosis. That's how they're making their fresh water. Tens and tens of thousands of gallons of it a day. I grant you that consumes energy. But mine at home doesn't. It's not plugged into any electrical device. It's strictly the water that comes out of your tap that forces the water through the membrane into a membrane tank and that diaphragm in the tank forces the water back up. Zero amount of energy use, zero, will make the osmosis water. You're putting it in a glass, you're not using plastic. Seems to me it's, it's a no-brainer. The cleanest water you want, and when I get it from that truck, I don't have a test kit. I don't know if that's good clean water, or if it's got a little mercury in it or something. Well, here's a table. This is usually the removal amount that these osmosis devices can do. This is a typical chart. Now I know I can test my own water. I know it's clean. It's in my clean glass. I'm not filling the dump. I don't have to worry about recycling or putting up another nuclear power plant. Think about it. Hey, if you don't drink bottled water, great. You're happy with the tap water, the chlorine. Just remember this though, that the government allows so many parts per million from each factory to put a certain amount of arsenic, a certain amount of mercury or lead into the water. You got a couple thousand of those plants upstream coming downstream. Most city water suppliers, 
They only usually use sediment filters, put a little chlorine in there to kill the bacteria, which can soften your bone, but don't worry about it because we're going to put fluoride in the water to harden your teeth. Well, personally, I don't want any of that stuff, so I'll use the osmosis device. Hope you'll think about it. Sorry, just another gripe. Hope the information's useful, and thanks for listening.